Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So in this one, we're going to be taking a look at some dropshipping products that are selling really well at the moment. So one of the things that I did when I very first started and got into dropshipping over seven years ago now, and I still do it to some degree today as well, just not as often. But one thing I like to do back then is learn from the people who are being successful and have walked the path that I wanted to walk. So it makes sense that if you want to lose weight, you would go to somebody who is in shape and learn from that person. If you want to build a successful business, you would learn from those businesses that are doing it successfully. So if you are in the position where you are wanting to get into dropshipping and create a successful dropshipping business, the best people to learn from are those people who are currently doing it. And this is what this series is all about. So every single week I'm going to feature different dropshipping businesses selling different dropshipping products. I will show you the creative for each of these products as well because you've probably heard me say it before in past videos that when you look at any successful e-commerce business there's four pieces to a complete puzzle to a successful puzzle. Number one, it always starts with the product. The product is obviously the most important thing. Without something to sell, you have no way of making money, of course. Number two is you need a supplier who can supply the products for you. It doesn't matter if you sell hundreds of thousands of units or something, if you don't have the supply to match the orders, it's gonna result in chargebacks and refunds, of course. Number three is you need a platform to sell the products on, i.e. your Shopify store. And then number four is you need the ad creative. So I'm gonna do my best to give you every single one of those pieces of those puzzles for each of these businesses that you can then use to delve a little bit deeper into your research and obviously you can use the creatives, you can use the products, you can use the supplier information, you can use the Shopify stores to replicate and improve and do things better than what I'm about to show you. If you want to be successful at anything, including business of course, then it's all about doing things better than the next person, especially in a competitive space. So as you've seen playing in the background, this is like a different, an improved I would say variation of a proven of a past seven figure winning product. So about two or three years ago, there was this vegetable chopping thing. It was like a box and it had many different attachments that you could slide things across, you could chop it. This is basically like a battery powered automated version. It's an even easier and lazier way to prep your food when you're doing some sort of recipe. As you can see, there's lots and lots of different functions um, and features for it. Now you may be thinking, well, how do I know it's a successful product? So I'll take you through the different things I look for. Um, when I'm doing my product research. So number one is I wanna see how long the product has been active for. If something has been active for a few days, that's too early to tell whether it's working or not really, unless it had like a ridiculous and very, very substantial amount of engagements and, and evidence and proof in the comments section. Otherwise, I'm looking for something that's been active for at least a couple of weeks, and this product has. So February 16th, it went live. Nobody runs an ad for longer than a few days unless they're seeing some form of return on it. So the fact that this is still going, and I'll show you how I know it's still going in a second, for over two weeks would indicate that it's profitable and it's working for them. I think that's pretty fair to say. So the primary text is a very short, sharp, to the point, bullet points of different kind of like kitchen emojis, just really highlighting different features and benefits of the product. Very typical headline and description with a FOMO, a fear of missing out, 65% sale end soon. Does the sale end soon? Probably not. Um, 3.6 thousand likes, 450 comments nearly, and, and 500 shares, which is pretty good given the fact it's only been in business or only been running for a couple of weeks. Let's take a look at the newest then. This is how I know it's still going today and it's been active all of that time. Now it's loaded up, not a very good start. A comment from somebody called Wanda Beckham that says junk. These guys don't do a very good job, obviously, of filtering out the spam comments and where that comment has come from. It could be a disgruntled customer, who knows. What I'm purely interested in at this point is whether this product is selling or not. If they're selling a poor version or quality of the product, that's something that we could fix and um, being in control of the supply of it, of course. But 52 minutes ago, four hours, six hours, seven hours, seven hours, seven hours, nine hours, 14 hours, 17 hours. There's a comment from Gail as well that says, I ordered one. So there's an indication there that people are buying this product. And that's the sort of thing I'm looking for. I'm looking for evidence that the product is selling, not that just people are tagging their mates because they want them to watch a funny video. So a significant amount of comments all within the last 24 hours, which would indicate that it's still working um, and going strong at the moment. If you're wondering how to get rid of these spam comments so you don't have to keep monitoring your social medias, then you need to upload what's called a moderation file. 
I and mean, in this moderation file is typically a Google Sheet. You can import all of the words that you want it to filter out. And basically it's like an automated bot. Anytime somebody comments a word like junk or, or money back or any word you want, it will automatically hide the comment. Let's take a look at the website selling the products then, a very kind of stereotypical drop shipping store. This really drives home the point that the product is the most important thing. If you can display and advertise a product, in such a way that it makes people want to buy it no matter what, then all of those other pieces of the puzzle can be somewhat less high of a standard. The most important thing by far is the product. So as we go through the description, like there's nothing special here. It's just your very kind of stereotypical textbook layout, a GIF followed by a heading, followed by a couple of lines, GIF, heading, a few lines, so on and so forth. This is the product on AliExpress. It's available from several different suppliers. You really it literally will just be a case of scrolling through AliExpress, seeing which ones have the fastest deliveries and, and cheapest products cost, and obviously the best reviews too. Same thing for ZJ, same thing for the agent that you may be working with. Um, super, super easy product to get hold of. Let's move on to product number two then. It's this handheld UV mic remover. Really good product, selling really well at the moment, and a stronger product as well. And what I mean by stronger products is the fact that it's been going for a longer period. So we can see here July 26. 2023 so this has been going for six months now it's also not as cheap of a product as the previous one there's definitely going to be better profit margins in this one what i really like about this as well is when it comes to the marketing angles it has that kind of like disgust like you might have seen products in the past like back stretches that start with like somebody's bones cracking that really kind of makes people cringe but it makes them want to watch and it's also like a common strategy or hook um, like you might have seen really minging and disgusting videos of people like popping pimples it's that sort of like disgusting but can't look away hook and this is in a similar sense does the same thing because it illustrates how dirty your bed might be even though that you can't necessarily see it so 10,000 likes 1.8 thousand comments and two and a half thousand shares and this one has a bit more proof as well when it comes to people who have bought the product so as we can see lots of comments all from recent this isn't even the most recent comments either um, it's amazing love mine had it for over a year so that's kind of like a really good testimony for the quality of the product that is still working even a year later um, I love one can you get them in Nyland I've just purchased how much are they got mine today I love it so if I was this company I'd be screenshotting this and embedding it in my website just to really drive home I've um, got mine now just to really drive home how legitimate the business is and how quality and how happy your customers are with the product let's take a look at the Shopify store then I'm not even sure if this is a Shopify store actually let's try a Koala inspector so it's a Shopify store but it's kind of like a a funnel template it's like a click funnels layout um, really kind of different to the typical kind of e-commerce Shopify store setup as you can see lots of imagery it's almost like a funnel type operation that the kind of consumer has to go through before they can even make a purchase so obviously they have this buy now button and when you click it it takes them to this weird like buy now which is a button and takes them straight through to the checkout process. It's not something I would typically recommend. However, everything is worth testing. A common question I'll get about different creators or different demographics, what's the best thing to do? It's really difficult to say this is the best thing for you. The only way to truly know is to just test it for yourself and see what works best for you because what works best for you might be completely different for the next person. And this is also the case with courses as well and why I don't sell a course. I only work with people on a one-to-one -one basis because a course can be great for one person, but everybody's business is gonna be different. Everybody's circumstances are gonna be different. So the only true way to kind of give yourself the best chances of success is to work one-to-one -one with someone who's gonna give you personalized advice based on your goals and what your situation is. And so with that being said, in fact, it'd be a nice time to bring up the fact that I do have a mentorship program and anybody interested in working with me on a one-to-one -one basis, what you need to do is check out the description of this video below and just click this mentorship link here. It's gonna take you to this page, which is a series of five or six questions. It takes a couple of minutes to fill out and it's an opportunity for me to kind of get to know you a little bit before we have a chat and a call. Um, it'll be questions about what your current level of experience is, what goals you have and you want to achieve. And if the two kind of work and it sounds like something I'll be able to help you do. So for example, if you wanna get your business to five or 10K a month in the next two or three months, great. You'll get through to my calendar and we can book a time and date in which we'll jump on a call and have a chat about more details. But if you put that you wanna make a million pounds, 
buy your first Lamborghini and live life on a beach, you won't get through to my calendar because it's completely unrealistic in the first few months. And they're not the kind of people that I want to work with, if I'm being honest. So if that all sounds like the sort of thing you're looking for, make sure you check out that link now um, and book in that time of day. And I look forward to having a chat with you then. Back to the products then, we can see they're selling it for £45. There's lots and lots of different suppliers on AliExpress. I found these guys which are selling the exact same product for €1.80. Don't ask me how they're doing that. Don't ask me if it's legit or not. It's just an example. But most suppliers are like these guys and they're selling their foot in and around the sort of £20 mark. Moving on to the third final product, then we have this juicer. You can cheer for the products and very quickly. Sort of thing on the product. It's in the more expensive products that requires more money. Whereas with something like this, you cheerful supply a video means people in the and if you haven't noticed already, it's the same company as that first one I featured. They adopt the same strategy in that primary text at the top with each bullet point with a different emoji. It's very attention and eye grabbing. And obviously it's working for these guys. So in the space of about six or seven weeks, they've got 16,000 likes, 1.6 thousand comments and 1.4 thousand shares. These are the newest comments as well. So we can see 40 minutes, one hour, one hour, one hour, one hour, one hour, one hour, one hour. One hour. Two hours, two hours, two hours, two hours, two hours, two hours, three hours, three hours, three hours, three hours. <laughs> There's a lot of comments all from the last 24 hours, so that would indicate that it's still very much active and working right now. Something to point out though is these PPs, price please. There's quite a lot of people, how much for it? You typically see people commenting that when these companies are tagged in countries in the eastern part of the globe. So these guys, if I had to guess, are definitely tagged in a global market and they've set the store up to accommodate for for everyone basically. This is also indicated and kind of reinforced with the price of the product. We can see it's not rounded up to a typical UK price, which would be 15.99, it's 15.91. We can also come onto here as well, and they've got every single currency under the sun. So to me, it looks like they're just throwing it out there to everybody and anyone around the globe and seeing what happens and seeing where it comes back or where they get the success, where they get the bites from. Because one thing you may be thinking is how are they selling it so cheap and making it profitable? It's probably because the majority of their business isn't coming from the expensive countries to advertise to, to the US, the UK. I covered this in a couple of videos ago. If you're targeting countries in the eastern part of the globe where CPMs are like two or three pounds, that is how you're able to sell these cheaper products and still make it work and still make it profitable on the front end. The product page layout, if we go down, is exactly the same. Something to keep in mind though is just because this works for a global market doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna work for a US market or for a UK market. This is something that you might have to split test to again find what it is that works for you and a very typical layout and expected as well to have the picture reviews at the bottom. What is, I've only just noticed is this as well, is what's crazy is in the video, it's a green plastic one. In the actual image reviews, it looks like an aluminium one. If we actually jump onto AliExpress, um, I did find a plastic one, which is about three pounds, as you can see delivered, but most of them tend to be this aluminium one, which to me, I think looks like a better quality product and one that would probably sell better as well. Given the price difference, I definitely would go or favor the metal one. As that person said in the comment section, Eric here, I'm 67, I have my parents' aluminium version of this. I can't see a plastic one last in 70 years. So somebody's already pointed it out, go for the aluminium metal one. It's gonna last longer and be a higher quality product. There's also evidence as well from this person here, look, I ordered already. So it's definitely a product that's selling. Given the fact they've been running it for over six weeks as well, they must be making it work. They must be making it profitable because it doesn't make sense to keep putting money into something unless you're seeing a return on it. And so with that being said then guys, I'm gonna wrap the video up there. If you stuck with me this long, I really do appreciate it. Just a polite reminder as well, if you are looking for that one-to-one -one guidance and support, a bit of hand-holding through the entire process of product selection, supplier selection, store build, and of course, Facebook advertising, then make sure you check out that mentorship link. Follow the questionnaire, it takes two to three minutes of your time. Let's jump on a call, have a chat, see what's what, and get you to your goals. Cheers.